Hi there, this is Srikanth Sari. So in this lesson, we are going to uh, learn about uh, the various ways to format uh, the output uh, in C++ using the I/O manipulation methods like uh, set, uh, set width, uh, set fill, and set pressure. So in this lesson, uh, we will learn about the very basics of them. Okay. So in the next lesson, we will look uh, into some uh, some more ways to format uh, uh, the output using the set width uh, method. Okay. So first, let me launch the IDE. So as we know that we are using a Visual Studio 2012 uh, uh, Express for Windows Desktop. Okay. So first, let me create the new project here. File new project. So the general empty tab. Let's name our project as uh, Formatted Input and Output Format Typo. Okay. So Visual Studio takes a moment uh, to load the project. Okay, and all the folders, etc. So let's add a new uh, CPP file here. So let's name our uh, source file as formatted uh, IO dot CPP. Okay. So first, let us add. Uh, so first, let us add the uh, header files. A couple of header files here. So all the basic stuff. Hash include. So I was string. Okay. So hash include IO stream, hash include so all the basic header files like cone IO dot h, okay. Next, okay, so let's use the so let's add the using namespace also. Using namespace std in our main function. So all the basic stuff we are doing here. Let's add the get ch function. Such that our output stays constant here. Okay. So to demonstrate uh, the use of these three functions, the first one is set precision. Set precision. Okay. And the second one is set width function. And the third one is set fill here. Okay. So set width, set fill, and set precision. So these are these three are the three basic I/O manipulation methods. Which are used to uh, format uh, the output when we are using the CO statement here. Okay, so first let us uh, output. Uh, let's take a double variable here first. Okay, let's take a double variable. Double var one. So is equal to let's say some uh, one thousand dot one two three four here. Okay. So now uh, if you just see out uh, this variable, so let's go to full screen. Okay. So now, if you see out uh, the variable, let's write a message also. Value of where one. So all these messages are just for understanding purpose. Okay. So now, if you run the run this program, okay. So now if you look into the output uh, by hitting the F5 here, okay. So if you observe, uh, the output is 1000.12 uh, here, okay. So this is not uh, the value uh, which we have stored inside the double variable here. Okay, so this is because uh, the default uh, precision value for both floating point and double in both C and C++ is uh, six here. Okay, so combined with the the digits before the decimal point and the digits after the decimal point, uh, the total the total number of digits were allowed is six by default. Okay, both for float and double. So that's the reason. Uh, you are getting a uh, one thousand dot one two here. Okay, so in order to uh, in order to uh, come out of this uh, loophole, uh, we use the method set pressure here. Okay, so if you say something like this, uh, see out uh, and set precision. Okay, so before that, your Intel sense is not pointing towards that method because we didn't uh, add the header file. The header file IO manip here. Okay, so hash include uh, IO manip is the header file which we have to use uh, at the beginning uh, to make use of these three methods: uh, set pression, set width, and set fill. So let's uh, now let's add that set pression uh, method here. So it suggests it suggests. Okay, so let's make let's set our pression as ten. Okay, and then let's uh, use this short statement once again. To print the exact value here. Okay, so now if you run the program, so if you observe here, okay, 
So if you observe here, so you get the exact value uh, now of what you have stored in the where where one here. Okay. So previously, uh, since the default pressure value is six for both float and double, uh, the CO statement just accepts the the CO statement uh, just accepts. Uh, up to six digits only, so it it's truncates or eliminates the remaining uh, uh, decimal value here. Okay, so if you set the pressure to ten digits, uh, and if you then if you uh, see out your value uh, stored in the variable where one, so you get the exact value. Okay, so that is uh, in that way uh, you need uh, you need to use the set pressure method to print the exact value and come out of the jargon of uh, the default pressure of six digits there. Okay. So in the same way we have uh, so set width also. So before that let's output just a small uh, uh, letter here 100. So if you uh, let's make use of this endl here. Okay. So endl is another uh, uh, equivalent to slash n. It's known as IO manipulator. It's uh, the, the job of endl is to just to make uh, to print the output in a new line here. Okay. So as soon as this uh, uh, CO statement is executed. The, if we put endl at the ending here, endl, so the cursor uh, shifts immediately to the next line, and the the next CO statement gets printed in the next line here. Okay. So now, if you run this application, a small program, so you get uh, just a hundred uh, displayed in the output screen here. Okay. So so again, if you make use of uh, uh, set bit method here, okay, let me stop the debugging here. Let's go to full screen. Let's add an endl once more. So let's set the new line experience in the new line here. So see out, okay, <coughs> see out. <coughs> so now if you use make use of this set bit method, and if you say some uh, set bit of some 20, let's say 20, and now if you uh, output that, uh, 100 uh, string uh, literal 100 here okay so if you run the program so you observe the difference here okay so the first the 100 got displayed uh, the left justified by default uh, the co statement justifies the value to the left hand side of the console window uh, here if you observe uh, we have uh, set the set width to 20 and then it displays the literal 100 to a right in the form of right justified uh, manner here okay so uh, if you observe the total count of uh, this space is total 20 and the remaining uh, uh, 17 spaces were left blank and our uh, literal 100 is right justified uh, towards uh, right justified okay so if you make use of uh, uh, set fill method okay so you understand better uh, how the space is uh, uh, used there okay so let's make use of the set fill method. Set fill. So set fill uh, has an argument of uh, a special character or a symbol. So whatever you wanted, uh, you need uh, you whatever is you, whatever you feel required to fill in that uh, space occupied by the set fill method here. Okay. So again, set fill. Set fill twenty. Okay. Set fill twenty. And let's. Uh, Again, take the 100 only, 100 literal here. Okay, so now if you run the small program once again, so you get the idea here. Okay, so at first uh, the set width it sets the width to 100 and it fills the uh, stars. Uh, so if you observe here, you have 17 stars. Okay, so 17 stars here. Okay, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, and 17. And the remaining three were the were occupied by the string uh, literal hundred here. Okay, so first it uh, sets the space of twenty digits and fills it out uh, with the stars, and the remaining is our literal here. Okay, so in that way, the set fill uh, works here. Okay, so here we have uh, seen the three basic methods uh, in the IO manipulation uh, uh, section here. Okay, so these three methods were stored uh, or defined inside or declared inside the this IO manip uh, header file here, okay. So first and foremost was uh, set pressure. Uh, so as we know that, once again, let's, let's run the application here, okay. So as you know that uh, the default uh, the default pressure value for uh, both float and double is uh, 6. So for that purpose, if you want the exact accurate value, uh, you need to be more specific with the pressure values here, okay. 
So for that reason, we have made use of the set position method to 10. So it allows the total 10 digits, uh, including the both uh, after the fraction fraction part and the decimal part here. Okay, so total 10 digits are available. So, so even though if you make uh, uh, somewhat larger uh, here, to, uh, uh, if you add 6, 7 to your uh, fraction part and if you run your application once again, already it's running, we'll stop it and run again. Okay, so you get the exact value here. Okay, so without any disturbance. So if you uh, add one more digit to your fraction part, uh, then that's not going to work here. Okay, so now if you run your application, so you get the rounded value here. Okay. So you have stored six, seven, nine, one, two, three, four, six, seven, nine in the decimal part, and uh, it just a total. Uh, since we have set the pressure value to ten, and here it gets rounded off here, okay, and rounded off, and just dis it's displaying eight here, okay. So in order to avoid this problem, if you make uh, your set pressure uh, to twenty, and if you run your application, so you get the exact value once again. Okay, so one six seven nine without any problem here. Okay, so the exact value, but that that you have stored inside the where one variable where one here. Okay, so next we have uh, looked into uh, setfit method. So setfit method. So if you go to output screen once again, the setfit method uh, sets some width uh, by since by default uh, uh, the CO statement, whatever the literals or strings or variables you print using the CO statement are left justified. So, if you want to make uh, th them write justified with some a certain number of spaces, you need to make use of this uh, set fill method here. Okay, and also we have looked into the set fill method. Uh, the set fill method uh, just fills it out uh, the empty spaces or uh, blank spaces with some special characters or symbols. Okay, so this is the basic stuff about uh, uh, the basic stuff about the I/O manipulation, the, the most basic uh, I/O manipulation methods in uh, uh, C++. Okay. So see you in the next lesson. Goodbye.